Welcome to my 28 day beginner challenge. If you're new to fitness or come back from a break, this challenge is perfect for you. There's 10 workouts over four weeks. They're gentle, they're low impact, and I'll coach you and inspire you through every single session. You are ready to take the first step and let's get this challenge started together. Right, three, two, one. Back, back. Welcome to my seventh annual Boxing Day live hit workout. I'm out of breath just from the intro. Um, we are live. It's all around the world. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. And as I said, it's my seventh sort of traditional Boxing Day live workout. I don't exercise on Christmas Day. I enjoy the food. I relax. I fart. I sleep on the sofa. But today, I like getting moving again. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy the workout too. I have got a five-minute warm-up plan for us and a 20 minute sort of body weight hit workout, uh, no equipment needed, will work for 35 seconds and rest for 25 seconds. Send Brussels sprouts in. Uh, yeah, 25 seconds of rest, 35 seconds work. Let's start the warm up. So first up, feet on the ground, hands out to the side. Let's just touch those toes, left to right. It feels so good to be back on YouTube, home of the live workouts, home of the home fitness channel that I love sharing with the videos on. And I want to say thanks to everyone that's taken part in any of my videos this year, whether it be on the Body Coach app, on YouTube or at live events. Thank you for joining me and being on the journey with me. Right, a few more of these. Let's go three, two, one. Brilliant. Next one, standing up. Just a few little rotations. So elbows, just twist through the spine. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. And yeah, today, I love, I love Boxing Day. It's about food again, but just do a little workout. Gives us a bit of energy for the day. More Christmas movies, hopefully, and lots of Christmas chocolate and farting. Right, big circles. I'm not gonna do a live fart, that's not gonna happen today. So big circles with the arms, and then turn the other, uh, change direction. So big circles forwards. So it's, as I said, 20 moves, 20 minutes. Every single exercise will be different, and we're gonna do 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest. Next one, just lifting the knees up and out. So just open up those hips. So really sort of create a big circle with your knees, open up those hips, brilliant. Yeah, so look, 20 minutes. If you're a bit tired, a bit lethargic, if you're a bit kind of grumpy, at the end of it, all those feelings are gone. You feel energized, you can feel ready for the day, and you're gonna have a big smile on your face. Like the old days, right. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, touch our toes, reach up and stretch those arms. So stretch down to the toes, reach up with the arms. We've got another, Two and a half minutes on the clock for the warm up. So stretching up. Okay, we're now just gonna go into a kind of over the top, old sort of aerobics move that stretch the arm up and over. Brilliant. So this is just a warm up, just to get our heart rate up a little bit, loosen up the joints, yeah, wake our muscles up a little bit. So stretch over, brilliant. Next one I'm gonna do, we're just gonna go into a sort of kneeling position. So right knee on the ground, left foot forwards, Let's just stretch that hip flexor. So sit into that position there, and then sort of sit back into your hamstring. So stretching the hip flexor open. This just helps us with our squats and lunges. Big stretch forwards, and sitting back good. Perfect, let's do a couple more on this side, and then we'll change direction. That's it, brilliant, so let's change leg now. So left knee on the floor, right foot forwards. Again, stretching the hip flexor. Rock back into your, um, into your hamstring. Just gonna set my little timer so I can see. There we go, right. Again, if you wanna bring the arms in as well, you can sort of sit back into the hamstring like that. Arms come up, stretch, reach, stretch those hip flexors. Perfect, let's do another one now for the hips. We're just gonna stand up and sit down into a nice sort of low squat position. And once you're down there, you can just sort of rock left to right, trying to create more space in the hips. Obviously, you can come off the floor. You don't have to have feet flat on the floor. You can just rock them left to right, wherever it feels right. And if you wanna put that, hand onto the knee as well, just sort of push away a little bit. You're just gonna feel those ball and sockets in the hips getting opened up a little bit. We've got another minute on the warm up. So a couple more seconds here. Excellent. What we're gonna do now is standing up. We're just gonna stretch our hands forward. So stretch forwards and then squeeze back. Stretch forward, squeeze back, good. Stretch and squeeze, stretch, squeeze, perfect. We're now gonna go for a, a walk out. So this is the final warm up exercise. Hands on the ground, 
walk out if you can into a high plank like this. High plank, walk back, touch your toes, reach up and just do a couple of those. So walking out into your high plank, walk back, touch your toes, let's do one more of those. Walking out, warming up the wrists and shoulders a little bit, touch the toes, reach up, and that is the end of our five minute warm up. So as I said, 20 minutes, 20 moves. It's gonna go quick, go at your own pace. We're gonna start off by doing a little jog on the spot, or if you want to and you're a bit more of a beginner, you can march. So march on the spot, jog on the spot for 35 seconds. Here we go. So knees up, let's go, we're off. First move. So it's 35 seconds of work, so push yourself, get your heart rate up, then we drop, recover, relax for 25 seconds, and then go into the next move. Come on guys, you've set the alarm, you're here, you're doing it, let's get as much out of this workout as possible. Knees up nice and high. That's it, pump the arms a little bit, knees higher if you can. Can we go faster in that last 10 seconds? That's brilliant, all right, let go, let's go. Faster, turbo finish, five, four, three, two, and one, brilliant, right, relax. So we recover now. The key here is to raise that heart rate as high as you can, that's the hip training, high intensity intervals, then we drop it, recover, and we go again. So next I'm gonna try and do body weight squats, feet flat on the ground, just sit down nice and slow, and stand up. If you wanna make this tougher and you're a bit fitter, you can do explosive squat jumps. Um, let's go, so sit down low, Stand up tall, 35 seconds of squats. Remember, trying to keep the back nice and straight. Feet flat on the floor. Drive through the heels of the feet. If you finally come up into the toes and balls of your feet, turn your feet a bit wider, and that will just let you sit a bit lower whilst pushing through the heels. So drive through the heels of the feet. Squeeze the quads at the top, squeeze the quads and the glutes. Sit down low. If you can't get as low, just do half reps. Wake up these legs and muscles in the glutes. Let's go, stand up tall, and relax. Brilliant, that's two complete. So as I said, every single exercise is different. So try and give every single move like 100% effort, yeah? So next I'm gonna do another low body exercise. We're gonna stand here, feet together, and we're gonna step back, reverse lunging. So stepping that foot as far back as you can, dropping the back knee towards the ground. Drive through the heel of the front foot, feet back together. Okay, so step. Off we go. Yeah, thanks for joining me. I love, I love my YouTube channel and I love knowing there's people all around the world who can't access the app that can actually always find free content. I've always said that from the start that you can always come here. There's loads of workouts for you to do. So this year, don't let you know, money be a barrier to exercise because you can do it in your living room with no equipment, with me. It's all there, hundreds of workouts. And I'll get you through the dark times, get you through the stressful days. Just come, press play choose a workout, and I'll get you through it. Right, and relax. Let's give the legs a little rest. We're gonna do a bit of a cardio exercise now, so we're gonna get our heart rate back up. What we're gonna do, uh, two options, feet together. Basically, we're gonna do star jumps like this, nice and sort of basic. If you wanna make them tougher, explosive ones, where you come down at this, and you jump, so it's a much more explosive, much harder on the legs. So, basic star jumps, or pitch those ones, off we go. 35 seconds. Yeah, and also to anyone that's um, done any of my YouTube workouts this year, well done, and keep coming back. Remember, consistency is so important with your training. Even if your food's not on point, you're struggling with the food, just keep moving, keep the exercise up, keep active for your mental health, yeah? It's not just the, it's not just the body image, it's about your mind, how you feel. And, and feeling better. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one, and relax. So, we're gonna go down now for our first upper body exercise. Now, you can't do full push-ups, it's fine, it's hard doing full push-ups. You can just do them from your knees, hands on the ground, we bend the elbows, press up. Or if you can, obviously go for full push-up. Key here though is a little slow. Don't rush them, take your time, lower yourself slowly and push yourself up slowly. Let's go, so slow reps and control. Chest to floor if you can, push up. Chest to floor, excellent, Just slow reps. Feel how much harder that is when doing slow. And keep your abs engaged. If you're dipping like this, do it from the knees. Knees, build up the strength in the chest and triceps. And then when you've got the strength in the core, 
the chest, the triceps, then you'll be doing a full push up in no time. Come on, that's the goal. 10 seconds left. <sighs> Big push. And push up. Last rep. Good, up, up on our feet now. Okay, we're gonna take it a little bit higher now, a bit more intense. We're gonna try and do a, a, a kind of burpee, but not a full burpee. So we're not gonna go right to the floor, unless you really want to, but you're gonna jump your legs back, jump your legs forward, reach up, or an even slower version is where you step the feet, step, and reach up. Right, so slow motion burpees, or those faster ones, off we go. So kick out, stand up, kick out, stand up. Good. How many reps can you do in 35 seconds? If you're against the clock, let's really think about elevating the heart rate now. Burn some energy, replace it with positive, focused energy. You'll feel amazing after. Even if you feel a little bit rough now, it's at the end of the workout where you feel the benefits. You know it's coming. 10 seconds. Last few. Can we do one more together? Last one, final one. Down, up, and rest. All right, brilliant. That is already six moves complete. So we've now got another cardio move. We're gonna be on the spot. We're gonna run, and as we run, we also stretch up, climb the rope. So really, really get the heart up, heart, heart rate up. Stretch up high, knees high. <coughs> Here we go. Coming in, 35 seconds. Bring the energy now. If you're a bit sluggish, push a bit harder. Because when you train hard, the endorphins, the energy comes at the end of the workout. You're gonna feel great, come on. You gotta burn it, burn it up. Come on, let's go. Burn it to firm it, I say. Come on, knees high, stretch up. Keep going, don't slow down. Maintain the speed for 10 more seconds. You can do this, come on, faster. Fast, stretch, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, that's done with that one. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna do a lateral squat, which means we're gonna squat down like this, step, and sit down each time. So we're just gonna go sort of as far as you can to the left, as far as you can to the right, really getting down nice and low in those lateral squats. Are you ready? We'll start on this side. Let's go, so squat down, step, nice straight back, look straight ahead, push through the heels, use those legs, bend the legs, get down low, brilliant. So you know my motto, you've probably heard it plenty of times, but you never regret a workout, you always feel better at the end of it. So, you know, going into this new year, think about how exercise makes you feel, how it changes the way you, you know, take on stress, how you sleep, how you digest food, how you're Mood, your mood improves, you know, your energy changes. That is what's gonna, that's what's gonna bring you back. It's not the inches and the weight on the scales, it's actually the mental health benefits. So think about that this year, really focus on that. And once you, you know, really control the mind and you transform how you feel, the physical changes come over time, you know, months and months of consistency is what transforms the body. Oh, all right, next exercise. I call these clap unders, so we're just gonna clap the hands underneath the knee. So lift the knee up. One, two, one, two, that's it. So try and keep that tempo. Lifting those knees up. Remember it's 20 minutes. We're pushing hard, but it's a really short workout. Keep going. Keep it going. Come on, let's go. 20 seconds. I'm gonna bring a couple of the P which are classic back on this workout, so stay tuned. I've got no music, I can't do the lean back and the uh, silly billy, but we'll we'll throw in a couple of the special ones. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So next one, this is a classic, kids love this one. It's the Spider-Man lunge. Now if you can't do the Spider-Man lunge, which is like this, you sort, of, you sort of twist into your lungs like this, left to right. You can just do a slow version where you just step, twist, step, and change it. So same thing, just not as explosive. Here, here we go, you ready? Right, let's go. So, left to right. Obviously the spider lunges, how do you really become a spider lunge when you do the tss, tss, spin the webs, tss. That's it, it's a burner. It's a leg burner, the quads are getting hit now. Ah, ooh, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. 
Right, 15 seconds to go. Come on, boxing day hit, you're here, you've tuned in, you've pressed play. Let's make every single exercise count now. Don't slow down on me yet, don't give up yet. Four, three, ah, two, ah, that burns. Ow. Right, we're down on the ground now. That has done me in. We're now gonna do some mountain climbers. So you've got two options. You can do them really slow like this. So slow, slow, or go full speed for the mountain climbers. And go hard, let's go. Let's do it. 35 seconds. If any exercise doesn't feel suitable, you can switch it obviously or miss it out. Skip it if you need to. If you find it hard, get it on your wrist. Maybe do another run on the spot or something. Ah, oh. right. 20 seconds to go, come on. We ain't quitting. We've turned up, sharp, put some effort into this. Let's go, really put as much into it as you can. You're gonna feel amazing at the end of it. I know it seems hard to see that now, but you are gonna feel amazing when them endorphins kick in. Two, one, rest. Oh. Right, we're gonna stay down on the ground now for an abs exercise. We're just gonna stay into like a, go into a, a plank position. So options are, Plank from your knees like this, ultimate beginner. Plank from your elbows, off, off your knees, or a high plank. Choose one that suits you. Lock it in, hold it in. Let's go. 35 seconds, I'm gonna stay on the elbows. So we're trying to really squeeze the abs. Nice straight back. Excellent, stay strong. Try not to drop. If you need to, you can drop to the knees, but try and stay strong in that core position still. Imagine your belly button is getting sucked up towards your spine, like a corset, pulling all those muscles in, deep muscles beyond the abs as well, beneath. Squeeze and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, recover. Excellent, we're almost there now, that's 12 complete. We're over halfway, so well done. We're now gonna go into a, a bit more of an explosive exercise. If you can't do these, because your knees are a bit dodgy or you don't fancy them, you can just do a squat hold, so a squat hold static. I'm gonna try and do some squat jumps. So basically I'm gonna land, pause, jump, pause. It's gonna really burn the quad, you ready? Let's go, so land, pause, jump, explode through those quads. Ah, cool, that's a burner. We're trying to get high off the ground, remember? So land soft like a spring, charge them up, Shoot off the ground. Oh, oh, they are burning. Bunsen burner. Nice little burner. Ah, come on, 10 seconds. Ah, jump, pause, jump, pause. Last couple. Oh, leave it out. Ah, oh, ouch. Right, let's have a little breather. Oh. Next exercise, we're gonna do a bit of a cardio move, a bit of a puncher, a bit of a karate kid. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four straight punches, four front kicks. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's those things up high. One, two, one, two, three. Four, and again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. Last 15. Two, four. Big front kicks. Two, three, four. And again. Last one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. Got a stitch. Oh, even, even for me, I get stitches, and sometimes I'm like, where's that? What, are, what is a stitch? Where does it come from? What is it? Right. No one knows, do they? Right, next exercise, we're gonna do some knee smashes. So stretch up, and then you sort of bring your knee up, out towards the side. So trying to sort of smash the knee into your hands. It's gonna work for your obliques. Let's go. That's one, two, one, two. Good, right, we're gonna really ramp it up now in this last five minutes. Okay, so we've got five minutes to go. Let's pick up the speed. One, two. Come on, strong. You're strong enough for this. Get that sweat on. The Boxing Day burn. 
15 seconds. Look, remember, we're doing this together live. There's people all around the world doing this. We're all feeling the burn, we're struggling together. We're gonna finish it together. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Recover. <clears throat> okay, five moves to go, and we have finished the Boxing Day live hit, the seventh annual live hit. Okay, next move, down into the high plank position. What we're gonna do here is jump the feet out, in, and then in, I'm slipping there on the floor. So you go out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out. Oh, sliding on the floor. If the jump's too difficult, you can step them out. So step, 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 or continue, continue to jump, and if you can, come on. We're trying to make this tougher. This last few moves are gonna be a finisher. Ah, oh, one more, ah, and rest. Oh, right, it's getting spicy now, isn't it? This is the Jeff Frazee one now. Chili, chili spice. It's kicking in. Ah, oh. right, next exercise we're gonna do, I call these a truffle shuffle. You use your whip for the room, whatever you've got. Shuffle to the left and to the right. Ready, let's go. So. Touch the floor if you can. Nice and quick. Shuffle. Good, if you wanna make it tougher, you can throw a little jump in at the end. So shuffle, shuffle, and jump. Come on, 20 seconds to go. I need three more moves after this. What are we gonna finish on? What's gonna be the last few moves? Come on, let's make them tough. Let's get the heart rate really high now, finish strong. You've done really well, you've come, you've got it. You got it on, you stuck it on the TV or the iPad in your ear. Let's really get the most out of these last few moves, right? Okay, so what I wanna do now, rather than do the high knee sprint, we're gonna do fast feet and fast punches. So again, really just think heart rate like up, max it out. Okay, ready? So fast feet on the floor like this, do the feet first. And then five punches to go. Come on. So tense the fists, tense them, throw those arms nice and long, and fast feet. Let's go. Come on, we can move quicker than this. You can move quicker. Come on, 20 seconds. Wake the neighbours up. Come on, faster. 15 seconds. Uh, uh, 10. Faster, look. Like that. Faster. Uh, Three, two, ah, oh. ah, oh. that's taking my heart rate right up there, 165, oh. Oh. okay, next move, I call these the power squats, last two exercises, feet together, we jump down, come up, if you can't do those, just do a normal squat, off we go, so normal squats or power squats. Let's go, 30 seconds left. Ah. I need one more big move after this. The finisher, the end of a fantastic workout here on Boxing Day, and we've done it together. I like doing it with you. It's nice not to be, be alone, isn't it? Right, last 12 seconds. Oh, legs are on fire now. Come on, how many can you do? Five seconds, four, three, Two, and one, ah. ah. Little drink. You've done amazing. We've pushed, this is, a, this is, I said to myself, again, this would be a, like a beginning to me, this is feeling a lot harder. Maybe it's just the boxing day and all the food we've had. Ah, oh, feel slower though, that's for sure. Final move, hate them or love them, it's the burpees. So, hands on the ground. If you can, get chest to floor. Jump up and repeat. If you hate burpees, do a run on the spot or start jump. Let's go, last move. Come on, you're a winner. If you've done all this, or if you've missed a couple, you're still a winner. Even if you're sitting on the sofa with a cup of tea and biscuits watching me, 
still think you're a winner. Because maybe you'll win inspired tomorrow to go to have a crack at it. 10 seconds, chest to floor, come on. I want a little bit more effort. Last couple of push, push press ups from the ground up. Okay, jump up. Oh, get up there, boy. <sighs> well done, that's fantastic workout. And a little reminder as to how simple it is to stay fit when you've got a tiny little bit of space, no equipment, YouTube's free, all those workouts are there for you. So please keep coming back, the channel is there. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, loads of workouts for kids, for seniors, people in, uh, you know, with disabilities. We've got some amazing workouts from India who's deaf and she's incredible. Check those out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you wanna continue training with me and you fancy giving the app a go this year, we've got a 20 pound offer this January. So you can get 20 pounds off the app for the whole year, which is incredible. And you can train with me live, you know, me and the trainers all over the Body Coach app and have a tailored meal plan to really get results. So have a great day. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Thanks again, enjoy your Boxing Day and you're a winner. You've completed the Body Coach workout on Boxing Day and uh, not many people are doing it. So well done for actually getting up and saying, you know what, I'm moving my body, so I hope you feel good for it. And uh, well done, lots of love to you. And um, yeah, check out the Body Coach app at thebodycoach.com. Peace out.